morning students this is lesson number 2 of chapter fiber to fabric today we are going to study about the animals yielding wool in details first comes sheep people rear sheep for its hair which is used in the production of wool the hairy skin of sheep has two types of fibers that form the fleece we discussed in the last video also first the coarse beard hair and second the fine soft under hair found close to the skin these fine hair provide fiber to make wool cashmere goat cashmere goat is a breed of goat that produces cashmere wool the cashmere is an extremely fine and soft fiber obtained from the undercoat of the cashmere coat the hair fibers on its outer coat are quite coarse this goat is found in the mountains of tibet and china angora goat the angora goat originally belongs to ankara turkey historically known as angora mohair wool is obtained from the hair of the angora goat it is one of the warmest natural fibers and is extremely lightweight in india it is found in the hilly regions of jammu and kashmir angora rabbit an extremely soft fluffy and warm white fiber which is formed from the angora rabbit is called angora wool the soft white fur thus obtained is then spun into yarn that is used to make sweaters angora rabbit is believed to have originated from turkey like angora goat yak yaks are found in tibet and ladakh their coat consists of long coarse outer hair and an undercoat of silky and soft wool the color usually ranges from brown to black camel the fleece on the body of camels is also used as wool the bactrian camel two humped camels are found in siberia china and mongolia camel wool also has an excellent thermal insulation property means they are warm enough llama and alpaca Llama and alpaca are found in South America. They are members of the camel family. Their wool is very fine, soft, lustrous and lightweight. So students, these were some wool yielding animals. We discussed about their characteristics and where they are found and what types of wool we get from them in details. So here is your homework based on what we studied today. Thank you.